Hi, hello, welcome to Kalaganti. Today we are going to discuss about the fifth house. What does fifth house represent in Vedic astrology? Fifth house is all about creativity and self-expression. The fifth house signifies an individual's uh, creative talents, hobbies, interests. It reflects how one expresses themselves artistically and creatively. Second point is romance and pleasure. This house associated with uh, love affairs, romantic relationships, and pursuit of pleasure and enjoyment. And also third point, uh, children and pragoni. The fifth house represents children, fertility, and relationship with uh, one's offspring. Fourth is intelligence and education. So this house influences uh, one's intellectual abilities, learning capacity, and educational pursuits. And the fifth point is uh, speculation and gambling. The fifth house is linked to speculative activities, investments, and gambling. And sixth point is recreation and entertainment. This house uh, governs uh, leisure activities, entertainment, and recreational pursuits. And also, it related to spiritual practice, mantra recitation, and devotion. Spiritual practices uh, related to repetition power. Risk-taking ability. Another point is risk-taking ability. This uh, fifth house shows one's inclination towards taking risk and adventurous activities. And also fifth house represents uh, past life merits. It represents merits earned in past lives and uh, good karma that influences the present life. This is all about a fifth house. Now, we'll discuss the planets in the fifth house of birth chart. So, Sun is in fifth house. If sun is in fifth house, creativity and self-expression, strong romantic inclinations, potential for leadership and fame, need for recognition in creative endeavors. When moon is in fifth house, emotional attachment towards children, intuitive creativity, mood swings in romantic relationships, love for pleasure and entertainment. If Mars is in fifth house, Passionate and energetic in love, competitive in creative pursuits, potential for conflicts in romantic relationships, drive towards speculative activities. When Mercury is in fifth house, intellectual creativity and communication skills, playful, witty in romantic relationships, romantic efforts, interest in speculative ventures, love for learning and education. When Jupiter is in fifth house, Joyful and optimistic in rom and romance, abundance of creative talents, strong connection with children, success in speculative activities. When Venus is in fifth house, romantic and artistic inclinations, love for beauty, luxury in creative pursuits, harmony in love affairs, strong affection for children. When comes Saturn in the fifth house? Cautious, disciplined in romance. Delays in having children, serious approach to creativity, potential for restricted pleasure. When Rahu in fifth house, unconventional romantic relationship, obsession with creative success, unexpected gains through speculations, potential for manipulation in love. Whereas Ketu in the fifth house, spiritual detachment in romance, unconventional creative talents, Disinterest in speculative ventures, potential for spiritual growth through creative pursuits. These are the planets in the fifth house. Now, we will see for the different ascendants how the fifth house behaves. So, fifth house in the different ascendants. For Aries ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Sun. Fifth house is Leo. Emphasis on creativity and self-expression. Strong romantic inclinations, need for recognition and admiration. When, when it is a Taurus ascendant, the fifth house is ruled by Mercury, that is Virgo. The emphasis on intellectual creativity, analytical approach to love, interest in education and learning. When it comes to Gemini ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Libra. So it's ruled by Venus, Libra. Emphasis on romantic and artistic pursuits, harmonious and balanced love life, love for beauty and luxury. When it comes to Cancer Ascendant, the fifth house is uh, ruled by Mars, that is Scorpio. 
emphasis on a passionate creativity, intense and transformative romantic relationships, interest in speculative activities. When it comes to Leo ascendant, the fifth house is Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter. Emphasis on a joyful creativity, optimistic and expansive love life, success in education and speculative ventures. When it comes to Virgo ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Capricorn. Emphasis on disciplined creativity, serious and cautious romantic relationships, delays and challenges in having children. When it comes to Libra ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Aquarius. Emphasis on unconventional creativity, unpredictable romantic relationship, obsession with a speculative success. When it comes to Scorpio ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Jupiter, that is Pisces. Emphasis on spiritual creativity, romantic and comp compensate love life. Success in speculative and spiritual pursuits. When it comes to Sagittarius ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Aries, Mars. Emphasis on energetic creativity, passionate and adventurous love life. Drive towards speculative activities. When it comes to Capricorn ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Venus, that is Taurus. Emphasis on stable creativity, affectionate and luxurious love life. Success in artistic and speculative ventures. When it comes to Aquarius ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Gemini, that is Mercury. Emphasis on intellectual creativity, playful and communicative love life, interest in education and speculative ventures. When it comes to Pisces ascendant, fifth house is ruled by Cancer. Emphasis on emotional creativity, nurturing and intuitive love life, strong connection with the children. So these are the ascendants and their fifth houses. Now, fifth house lord in different houses. Fifth house lord. When fifth house lord sitting in the first house, creativity and self-expression influencing personality, romantic inclination tied to self-identity, need for recognition in creative pursuits. These are the fifth house lord in the first house. When it comes to fifth house lord in the second house, creativity and self-expression influencing finance, romantic inclination tied to material comfort, Success in speculative activities. When fifth house lord in third house, creativity and self-expression influencing communication, romantic inclination tied to close relationships, interest in intellectual pursuits. When fifth house lord in fourth house, creativity and self-expression influencing home life, romantic inclination tied to emotional security, success in educational pursuits. When fifth house lord in the fifth house, strong emphasis on creativity and self-expression, romantic inclination tied to personal happiness, success in speculative act. When fifth house lord in the sixth house, creativity and self-expression influencing daily routines, romantic incl inclinations tied to work environment, potential for conflicts in the love life. When fifth house lord in the seventh house, creativity and self-expression influencing partnerships and relationships, romantic inclination tied to committed relationships, success in the business ventures. When fifth house lord in the eighth house, creativity and self-expression influencing intimacy, romantic inclinations tied to transformative ex experiences, success in speculative activities involving risks. When fifth house lord in the ninth house, Creativity and self-expression influencing higher learning, higher knowledge. Romantic inclination tied to spiritual pursuits. Success in speculative activities involving travel. When fifth house lord in the tenth house. Creativity and self-expression influencing career. Romantic inclination tied to public image. Success in speculative activities involving profession. When fifth house lord in the eleventh house. Creativity and self-expression influencing friendships. Romantic inclination tied to social connections. Success in speculative activities involving community. When fifth house lord in the twelfth house. 
creativity and self expression influencing spiritual growth romantic inclination tied to solitude success in speculative activity involving foreign lands now we will discuss fifth house lord conjunctions when fifth house lord conjunct with the sun creative and self expression tied to self identity need recognition romantic relationships potential conflicts between personal and romantic interests when fifth house lord conjunct with moon creativity and self expression tied to emotional security need for emotional comfort in romantic relationships potential for emotional ups and downs in love life fifth house lord conjunct with mars creativity self expression tied to action and drive passionate energetic romantic relationship potential for conflicts and power struggle in life when fifth house lord conjunct with mercury creative and self expression tied to communication and intellect playful witty romantic relationships potential for nervousness and anxiety in love life when fifth house lord conjunct with jupiter creativity self expression tied to expansion and growth joyful optimistic romantic relationships potential for over indulgence and excess in love life fifth house lord conjunct venus creativity self expression tied to beauty and harmony romantic and artistic inclinations potential for vanity and superficiality in love life when fifth house lord conjunct with saturn creativity and self expression tied to discipline and responsibility serious and cautious romantic relationships potential for delay and challenges in love life when fifth house lord conjunct with rahu creativity and self expression tied to unconventional and obsession unpredictable and intense romantic relationships potential for manipulation and deceit in love life fifth house lord conjunct with ketu creativity self expression tied to detachment and spirituality unconventional detached romantic relationships potential for a spiritual growth through love life so now we will discuss about exalted fifth house lot and debilitated fifth house first we will discuss about a exalted fifth house lot confident creativity confidence in the creativity and self expression positive and supportive relationship with the children and loved ones emotional fulfillment and joy through creative pursuits strong sense of purpose and identity potential for creative growth and recognition favorable circumstances for romance entertainment and leisure activities now comes debilitated fifth house lord lack of confidence in creative expression challenging or strained relationships with children and loved ones emotional struggles and instability through creative pursuits unclear sense of purpose and identity potential for creative blocks and self doubt difficulties with romance entertainment and leisure activities fifth house uh, is associated with a creativity self expression romance entertainment and relationship with the children and loved ones an exalted fifth house lord can bring positive themes and experiences where a debilitated fifth house lord can bring challenges and difficulty for example exalted fifth house lord by sign when sun is in aries and he is the fifth lord suppose aries ascendant and uh, fifth house lord is exalted in first house confident creativity strong self expression and natural leaders when moon is in taurus and moon became a fifth lord emotional stability and security through creative expression mars in capricorn exalted and he became a fifth house lord disciplined and ambitious creativity and strong desire for recognition when comes mercury mercury exalts in virgo and mercury became fifth lord when mercury became fifth lord analytical and practical creativity attention to detail jupiter in cancer nurturing and protective creativity strong connection to family and emotions venus in pisces Venus became fifth lord and he is exalted in Pisces. Spiritual, transcendental creativity, strong connection to intuition. Saturn in Libra exalted. 
balanced and harmonious creativity, strong sense of responsibility. When Rahu is in Gemini, innovative and adaptable creativity, strong desires for knowledge. Ketu in Sagittarius, philosophical and expansive creativity, strong connection to higher knowledge. Debilitated fifth house Lord Vaisai. Sun in Libra, indecisive creativity, potential for people pleasing than ruling. Moon in Scorpio debilitated. Fifth house Lord is Moon and Moon is in Scorpio debilitated. Emotional turmoil and intensity in creative expression. Mars in Cancer debilitated. Emotional conflicts and mood, moodiness in creative pursuits. Mercury in Pisces debilitated. Confusion and instability in creative thinking. Jupiter in Capricorn, debilitated. Restrictive and pessimistic creativity. Venus in Virgo, critical and perfectionist creativity. Saturn in Aries, isolated and repressed creativity. So, Rahu in Scorpio, obsessive and intense creativity. Kedu in Gemini, detached and disconnected creativity. Examples of celebrities and public figures. Leonardo DiCaprio. Fifth house Lord Venus in Pisces. So, creative expression tied to spirituality, transcendence. Bernice, fifth house Lord Sun is in Leo. Confident creativity and strong self expression. Shahrukh Khan, fifth house Lord Jupiter is in Cancer. Nature and protective creativity. Weak fifth house. Lady Gaga, fifth house lord, Saturn in uh, Aquarius with Mar with Rahu conjunct. Creative expression tied to independence and unconventional approach. Kanye West, fifth house lord, Mars in Scorpio with Sun conjunct. Emotional intensity and conflicts in creative pursuits. Lindsay Lohan, fifth house lord, Venus in Virgo with Saturn conjunct. Critical and perfectionistic creativity. Challenged fifth houses. Michael Jackson, fifth house lord, moon in Scorpio with the Mars conjunct. Emotional tremoli and intensity in creative expression. Whitney Houston, fifth house lord, Venus in Scorpio with Mars conjunct. Emotional conflicts, power struggle in creative pursuits. Amir Khan, fifth house lord, Jupiter in Sagittarius with Ketu conjunct. Philosophical and expansive creativity with the potential for emotional detachment. So these are the Examples of who, who is having a fifth house influence, more fifth house influence. So this is all about uh, fifth house uh, in Vedic astrology. Hope you enjoyed this video. So this uh, video will be streamed in YouTube. Please like, share, comment. So we'll come with the next video in the next week. Up to then, thank you.